What's up everybody? This is Rob of Archangel Inc, www.archangelinc.com. And in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the cover design process with Archangel Inc. Our covers are really great and uh, popular, and they're one of the avenues by which a lot of the authors that we end up working with find us. And so not uncommonly, we will get questions about what the design process is like and what sort of clients work best with Archangel Inc. when it comes to designing a really attractive, really marketable book cover. And so I wanna share a little bit about how it works on our end so you can determine if you might be a good fit for us and if we might be a good fit for you. So the uh, basics of the process are after we begin a conversation, we'll collect information from you. We have a design checklist that we send over and it includes information, uh, bibliographic data like the title and the subtitle, the genres that you're aiming to compete in, uh, we also ask you for uh, a handful of covers that you like and uh, other covers in your genre that you are going to be working alongside of. And we'll include, uh, we'll ask you for information such as if there is a company logo that you want to incorporate, something that you actually absolutely have to have or absolutely can't have. You know, you may hate the color yellow or you may really need to have a tricycle in the cover or something like that. And so, once we have that information, we really ask for your uh, trust and uh, for your confidence uh, so that we can design the, uh, the cover the best way that we can. Uh, typically within seven to 10 days, sometimes a little bit less, we'll have a handful of designs for you, um, usually three or more, sometimes as many as five or six. It just depends on the particular cover and the inspiration that our uh, designer is able to, um, to find and cultivate for the project. And then we'll send that over to you so that you can take a look. And oftentimes we will share this on Facebook, we'll put it up for a vote, uh, we'll see what sort of feedback that we're getting from uh, individuals in your chosen market or you know who are just on your Facebook page or our Facebook page or so forth. Uh, one of the advantages to doing this as well is it starts to generate some pre-release buzz, some interest and excitement around the project and gets people thinking about, oh wow, yes, this author has something coming up and, and this is really cool. This looks interesting, this cover looks great, I really wanna check it out. I'm gonna remember to uh, visit their website or visit their Amazon page once it gets launched. Anyway, once that design, uh, once those handful of designs are sent over to you, you have the uh, opportunity to provide feedback. You can select one of them. And if there are minor changes or adjustments, like, oh, can we use a different color here or um, adjust the placement of the title and subtitle or the author name or something like that, then you can reach out to us and we will um, make those adjustments. Um, typically, the, um, the process can be pretty streamlined and efficient. One thing that sometimes authors come up with is, oh man, I actually really like several of these. I'm not sure which direction to go in. And obviously we're always happy and proud when that happens. And um, you know, we, we definitely aim to create something that is going to resonate with your chosen market. That's one of the reasons that we ask, for example, for the genre that you're aiming to compete in, because you want your book to be interesting and distinctive and to stand out, but you also want it to belong. You want the book to seem like it is a competitor and appear to the top performing books in your arena. You want to present professionalism and authority and the book cover is one important way to do that. And sometimes authors will kind of get hung up because they think, well, this isn't, this isn't what I like, this isn't what I'm looking for, uh, but our job, our responsibility as we see it uh, for cover design work is to put forward your best foot so that it's going to speak to your market most effectively. And sometimes the, the author, the creator, is a little too close to their project and doesn't necessarily have uh, the same sensibility that uh, that the uh, individuals who might be interested in your book do. And, and so it's our responsibility to kind of uh, meld those visions and, and really help you to identify with your chosen market and speak to them in a way that's going to convince them to click on your book and then read through to your description and hopefully your reviews and decide, yes, I wanna take a chance on this. This book is going to bring some value to my life and I'm going to do something with it. So um, that's the short of the cover design process. The, the main thing that I wanna emphasize is uh, we do try to make it collaborative, but our best work is when the author decides, yep, you guys know what you're doing. I like the work that you've done before and I want you to do the best that you can for my book and I'm not going to 
um, become so involved or try to micromanage the process so much so that you know there are too many cooks uh, spoiling the broth and that it ends up being not the best version of the book possible. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely feel free to contact us at archangelinc.com and we would be happy to chat more with you. We do also offer uh, 30 minute consultations. So if you decide that, yeah, that might be of interest either just for cover design or for other work that we do, and we offer a number of other services, then reach out. It's again, totally free. Uh, even if you decide that you don't wanna work with us, but you have some questions and uh, kind of wanna navigate your way around the self-publishing landscape, uh, we're happy to do that too. There are uh, lots of instances where we talk to clients or to individuals who don't end up being clients, but uh, we're happy to point them in hopefully some constructive directions and um, avail ourselves to them for, uh, for that 30 minutes. So uh, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or to, again, reach out to us at archangelinc.com and we look forward to hearing from you. This is Rob Archangel and I will see you all next time. Wow.